Hey everyone, Guilty here with another Escape the Backrooms walkthrough. This time we're doing level 10, the bumper crop. Resupply on anything you want from that hay bale there, and we're going to continue down the long road here. Now this is the first part of this level, and it does seem a bit long, but the reason for that is we've got a little creeper guy following us. The entity's name is actually called the Faceling, but I like to call him the Creeper because he creeps up on you. And this little wheat field here, you have to go into it eventually, but for now just continue following this road. Don't worry about that red light in the distance, that's relevant later on. So we're going to continue doing this until we find the barn, which is at the end of the road. It's a bit of a trek though. Your sanity does drain at this level, so make sure you keep stocking up on armored water. You'll find it at almost every turn though, so no problem there. And as we continue, you'll eventually see the barn in the distance. Just keep repeating this process, that guy can't harm you if, you, if you're looking at him. So there's the barn there, and you'll notice as you get close to it, probably about now, the faceling doesn't actually spawn, like, as you can see, he's not here anymore. So you're pretty much safe now. And the next thing you want to do is resupply that hay bale if you need to. And don't jump over that fence, I've done that before and you cannot get out of it. Okay, now we reach the second part of the level, so now we need to find five windmills and turn them on. And they're quite easy to find, just a little maze. So the red light indicates where the first windmill is. And so basically just go towards this one. The first windmill is always easy because there's no obstacles and I don't think the faceling actually spawns until you get to the second one. So as you get closer you see the red light kind of gets bigger because you're getting real close to it. And then in the center of the windmill you'll see here, you want to press F onto it. So if you press F that turns it on and as you can see there's a green light and the next windmill will appear with a red light. There's a chainsaw man, Mr. Faisling. I like to do a little lap around here just because I want to create distance with him and the worst thing is trying to figure out where he is in the wheat field so that's why I did that. And the good thing about this entity is his stamina isn't that good at all so you can easily outrun him. And the chainsaw sound is good because you know if he's close or not. So what we're going to do is keep heading towards this. Sometimes you find a water source or a fence. Keep following the fence left or right. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you find a gap like we do now. And yeah, just continue towards that red light. The facing with the chainsaw spawns randomly and basically you want to do this as fast as you can to lessen the chances of him finding you again. So this is why I'm in a hurry actually. So you press F on that second one. You'll always find another hay bale where you can resupply. Okay, we're going towards this next red light. And another tip for the chainsaw guy is he usually spawns in front of you. So if you hear his chainsaw, run backwards or the other way, and then you can probably outrun him. Now here is where I hit a fence and I turned left and you could see I went the wrong way. That's fine, just turn the other way if you do that because as you could see you couldn't go around there. So keep following this and you'll eventually find a gap. It might be a long run, but and it seems a bit counterintuitive, but it, there is going to be a gap around there. Now we can find the next windmill. Now press F on there and I think we got one left. But yeah, my sanity is draining now, so I'm going to make sure I get enough almond water in me. Now when you do this, make sure you don't do it in the middle of a wheat field because you're very vulnerable there. Try to be in the wheat field as least time as possible. Just keep going here. And you can go through the water, like don't be afraid just to get a little bit deep in there. That's completely fine, it won't harm you at all. Now this is the fourth one, press F on that again and now we're up to the last one. Now this is a common mistake so pay attention. The red light is over there but you want to use this entrance to go in the wheat field. Don't go back the way you came because you probably can't find the exit from there. Now this is probably the most windy fences, the hardest one. So keep following the fence around, you will eventually find a gap no matter how many turns you do. And then another fence, turn to the left there again. And then you're just going to keep going towards the light here. There shouldn't be much obstacles now, if any. And the chainsaw man I don't think spawns. Okay, we're going to turn left here. 
on the last one. If he does, uh, let me know in the comments, but as far as I know, he doesn't. Okay, we're almost there. And now, because this is the last one, you'll notice something a bit different here. So behind there is a car park, and that's actually where we need to go. So now we're heading towards the car park. And the reason why we press the windmills is just to guide us to this car park. They serve no other purpose being on other than to show us the light. So you can see all five of them there. And just keep hopping towards this arcade, I guess. This is the next level. Now it's a bit of a trek. You can use that little jump glitch that I showed you in a previous video. And we're going through this rotating door. Which takes a while for you to actually get through because it's so slow. But yeah, that was a good level. I hope you made it through there. I'll see you in the next video and please hit that like and the subscribe button. Bye.